Today's video is brought to you by The Ridge Wallet. All right, I feel like the juices are rolling. The juices are bubbling at the very least. Percolating. Going to a low simmer. Going to a low simmer. <laughs> the point in my life when I discovered that you don't cook all things on high at all times was uh, productive. Oh, <laughs> like this just seems like the fastest way. One second at 500 degrees, same as 500 seconds at one degrees. <laughs> right? Math. Math. <laughs> Hey brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben. Today, we are taking on the world's hardest Death Eater quiz. What? Avada Kedavra. Guys, before we dive on into the quiz, I need to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Let me just ask you a question. Are you still carrying around that old leather brick, you know, that first leather wallet you got that one time that you still have to this day that contains, you know, the one card you use all the time, the second card you use occasionally, but then also like 13 receipts, a concert ticket, that pin you wrote down that one time, a $2 bill that you just can't spend because it's just too cool and let's face it, it actually actually is, your 2013 tax return, a coupon for a free car wash, will knock it off! Guys, there is a better way. The Ridge Wallet is sleek and stylish. I feel like I just got really infomercially with that, but I actually do stand by it. But also it carries up to 12 cards at a time and it's made out of RFID blocking material, so you're safe from digital pickpocketers. Plus they let you test drive it for 45 days. And if you don't love it, send it back and they will give you a full refund. But when you do love it, get used to it because this thing has a lifetime warranty, meaning it's gonna be around for a while. And they have over 30,000 five star reviews. Guys, just go and check it out and get 10% off by going to ridge.com slash SCB and use promo code SCB at checkout. Again, that is 10% off your order by going to ridge.com slash SCB and use promo code SCB at checkout. Link is in the description down below. Check it out. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Our younger brother, Tyler, is on the other side of the camera, and he is going to be reading us all of the 15 questions plus one bonus Patreon quiz master question. We don't get the multiple choice unless both of us decide that we have no idea what it is, and we're like, we need to hear that multiple choice, in which case Tyler can provide us those answers and I think that's all the rules. Hey, how good was that handoff though? Dude, it was like, segue. It was, I was like, I have all of the words in my head and now I'm going to take that information and you are just going to pick it up and carry it from there. It's <sighs> heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Question one. Where did Harry first see Death Eaters in the flesh? Oh. Oh man, I almost missed this. Okay. You got it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, the, your, your contemplation made me ever so slightly nervous. I'll explain. Okay, three, two, one. The Quidditch World Cup. Oh my gosh. It is the Quidditch World Cup. It is the Quidditch World Cup. Oh, so wow. okay, at first I was like, well, he sees Lucius Malfoy at Flourish and Blots. Yeah. Just well, like technically a death eater in the flesh. But they're like, okay, so here's my here's my small argument is that they were not there like on Voldemort's orders. Like right. the, the actions that they're doing and even the fact that the dark mark goes into the sky, like is almost counter to, like they are not acting entirely on behalf as Death Eaters in that moment, although they are technically Death Eaters. They're not acting on behalf of Voldemort, but they are acting as Death Eaters. Yeah, yeah. so like, because he does meet Peter Pettigrew, who I would argue is definitely a Death Eater. Yeah, right? for sure he was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Before that. Also true. Also and Lucius Malfoy before that. But Death Eaters in the plural. Yeah. I yeah. So. Anyway. Anyway. Question two. Not a good start for Ben. <sighs> Great start for Jay. Specifically, where on the body is the dark mark burned into a Death Eater's skin? This feels dicey. I know. The fact that you said specifically is making me nervous. I'm like, I know where. I feel okay. Okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying to decide if there's any moment specifically that would flip my coin. Hmm. Oh boy, people at home are screaming at the screen. Right oh no. Now. I'm so sorry. Three, two, one. Left forearm. Left arm. Uh, I will give you left arm, but the correct answer is left forearm. Oh yeah. That's like an extra point one. It's right? nothing. It's nothing. It's right? Not, no, yeah. No. I do like when we like argue about the points though, because Scott does the thing with the numbers. Yeah. I think that's funny. It's funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Question three. What spell do Death Eaters use to conjure up the dark mark in the sky? They love this question. I'm looking for the incantation here. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. More smordre. More smordre. More smordre. Excellent. I think this is like the third or fourth time we've had that question. But we know it real, real good and solid at this point. Right? <sighs> you did spell it wrong, Ben. Really? Yeah. Actually, it's all one word, so you both spelled it oh. wrong. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah. Classic Latin. Is it Latin? Probably. Probably. Which of these Death Eaters were not present in the Little Hangleton graveyard in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Is it A, Severus Snape, B, Peter Pettigrew, C, Walden McNair, or D, Lucius Malfoy? Is this a select all that apply? Or just- There is one correct answer. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Snape. Snape. Severus Snape. Dumbledore! Gone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Question five. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. Snape is correct. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, That was what they call Ron Weasley was also not present in the industry. <laughs> a softball. You know how hard it is to hit a softball. We've you know how much it hurts to be hit by a softball. I sure knew because softballs, contrary to their name, are in no way soft. Mm -mm. In fact, they're kind of rigid. I would call them hard balls. <laughs> <laughs> more so than a baseball? Well, they're bigger. That's I would almost say more so. <laughs> but no, yeah, I think according to, to geologic terms, the Mohs hardness scale, I would believe that a softball has a higher s scratch test rating. You think a, you think you could scratch a baseball with a softball? I believe you could. Okay. I believe you I could. I don't know. I think you're underestimating how hard a baseball is. Well, I'm sure they're both made of leather. Guys, it's a simple matter of weight ratio. <laughs> <laughs> Question five. How many Death Eaters broke out of Azkaban and Harry Potter in the Order of the Phoenix? Did you have an immediate answer for this? Yeah. Why? I just I just remember. <laughs> just re like a specific number. Yeah. Oh. I just missed the desk. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ten. Five. The answer is... Ten! Yeah. Of it is. Why do you remember that? It's just like the head. This, this is like when Voldemort was the happiest he'd been in 14 years, and it's like the headlines in the paper. And there's like 10 more Death Eaters join the ranks or whatever, and like they go to Hogsmeade, and like the face of the 10 Death Eaters were staring down at them. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, they say it a few times, but uh, they, they don't like list them off by name or anything. Most of them are just like Bellatrix Lestrange, and Neville's all like. Bleh. Understand. That's when he starts getting real good at DA. At DA. Oh, yeah. I do remember that. Yes. Anyway, you guys talking about the the one true Gryffindor? That's right. Neville Longbottom. That's right. Samurai Longbottom to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Question six: How did the Death Eaters kill Broderick Bode while he was recovering in Saint Mungo's? I got this one. You got this chapter comes up a lot. It does. It does. This is like if they you want to be good at these quizzes, you should just read Christmas, yeah, Christmas on the, on the ward. Yeah, yeah. What up? Uh, and it's, it's like, talked like right into the middle of the biggest book. Yeah. Too. It's like right when you just, like we're just right, right when you're getting a little drowsy, you know. Yeah. Going go cruise be, control. Right. Going cruise control. And you like you like leave Umbridge for a <clears> while. <throat> you're like okay, happy times. I mean. Mr. Weasley was attacked by a snake, so there's that. You just see Lockhart again, you're like, oh, fun and games. I can use joint up writing again. Obvious. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Devil Snare. Devil Snare hates sunlight. That's right. It's loads of fun, but wilt in the sun. What a dumb rhyme. When is it fun? When is it fun? <laughs> you know? It's like, you can play kind of ball person. with it. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Certain kind of person likes Devil Snare. Question seven. What did Bellatrix Lestrange Say the Dark Lord called her. What would be like the correct French pronunciation of her first name? Bellatrix isn't French. Right. Right, but like, how does her husband say her first name? No, how does Rodolphus say it? A Bellatrix! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 Bellatrix. <laughs> All of my French is, comes from, what was it, Pierre Escargo? <laughs> yeah, Pierre Escargo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just turn. Okay. Three, two, one. His most faithful servant. Oh. Oh. The most trusted agent. Mm. That sounds right. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Neither? No. Neither. Oh. His most loyal. Really? Uh, I mean, frankly. Hey, more like Frank Bot. 
L- Frank Longbottomly. Right. Nailed it. Oh. Uh, I'm glad I didn't mess up while I was saying that. <laughs> uh, so one of the other options was his most trusted, uh, and then his most precious and his most loved were the other two. So I can't give you the point. Okay. Okay. I see where your heart Obviously, was. Obviously, we knew where her heart was. <laughs> right. <laughs> we sure did. We, we sure did. Not with Rodolphus, that's for sure. And now for the Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Sean Rigby. To get your question in a quiz, go to patreon.com slash Sumacarlin Brothers and sign up for the quiz master tier. That was really good. I was here. I know. It was, it was all in, you know. All in, all, all in. All in. What was the spell that Hermione used in order to protect and cloak against Death Eaters in the Forest of Dean? Oh, Rigby, you sly cat. To cloak against Death Eaters. Well, I mean, like, I feel like she's using a bunch of incantations. Yeah, she uses a lot. I mean, they set up the same incantations everywhere. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to think, is there something specific to this location? I'm also not sure if I'm getting a movie spell mixed up here. The Force of Dean is where they get the Sword of Gryffindor, isn't it? Correct. Because Phineas Nigellus overhears them. Yeah. And Snape's like, I'll go there. Well, I have a guess. (laughs) I know that this is a spell that they use to protect themselves. I know that it is one of them. So, three, two, one. I put Protego Totalus. I put... Muffliato. They do use that too. And the correct answer is Protego Totalum. Whoa, come on. You gotta give me that. Yeah, I would give you that. Okay. You gotta give me that. Ben gives him the point. I would, I'll give, give, the point. I would give you that. That's really good. I do not feel like I'm doing very well, and I don't actually think these questions are that hard. Sorry you are that. not doing very well. And these questions are not that hard. Oh. Wouldn't that be great if, like, Alex Trebek was like that? Yes. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to. You've only cleared off the 200s, and uh, no one's got any points. Quite frankly. Everybody's uh, in the negative. I don't like our odds for the thousands. <laughs> Question eight. What color... Sorry, it's English. What color is a Death Eater's dark mark when inactive? That's how English people talk. Color. What color? Color is a Nailed Death Eater's dark mark when inactive. Are you dipping a little Australian there? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Red. 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 Boom. It's true. Everyone thinks it's black. Everyone thinks it's black. It's not. People are getting their tattoos the wrong color. Or they're always active. <laughs> or that's right. <laughs> and you see someone and they're like, check it out. You're like, did you just summon him? Always. Always. That's what Snape says. It is what Snape says. Oh, good Death Eater reference. Harry meets Snape pretty early on. He does. That's true. He meets <laughs> Snape before Lucius even. Wow. Okay. Wow. We missed that too. We did. Look at us, Cal. Probably he met Peter Pettigrew as a one-year-old, right? Good point. Yeah. He met Wormtail was here. Wormtail. That's what the letter says. Question nine. What position did the imperious pious thickness... Oh, gosh. That's a hard word. Hold once the Death Eaters had infiltrated the Ministry of Magic. Pious Thicknessy's name is hard, not the word hold. That word is easy. <laughs> I've, I've tackled that so many times <laughs> in my life. Guys, just look how much I angle my iPad versus how little he angles his can iPad. Can you see what I'm writing? Jay, I can see what you're writing and not even looking at you right now. Then why are you doing so bad? Because Jay's I don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a very poorly worded question, I feel like. Let me read it like without a... interrupting myself. Okay. okay. What position did the imperious pious thickness hold once the Death Eaters had infiltrated the Ministry of Magic? I still feel like it's poorly worded, but... We'll explain it afterwards, yeah. Okay. It, yeah, all right. I don't know. Maybe I'm just flat wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Three, two, one. The, the head of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. I said Minister for Magic. Okay, the correct answer is Minister for Magic. Okay, see, but this is how the... This is the position he has when they Imperious him. Obviously, they are able to Imperious him because they've infiltrated, right? I mean, that well, is a different or, incorrect answer. I, in no, I think choice. that I think the ministry has not yet fallen. Okay, hold but up, like, right, hold okay. up, because when they go to the meeting in the beginning, yeah. isn't it Yaxley, Yaxley who says, "I have successfully done this," and everybody else is yeah. like, "Whoa, kind of impressive." And then it's not until the wedding right. that Kingsley sends the links that says, "Ministry has fallen. Yeah, minister is dead." Correct. Right? Yes. So isn't it at that moment? No, but they will obviously have infiltrated the ministry by the time they have put the spell on him. I see what you're saying. Not 
fallen. I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, okay, I see what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, but I, I yeah. I but, think my interpretation of the question was like once, once it was under their control. Well, that's, yes, that's what I wasn't sure. Oh, I see. You know, because like Snape has infiltrated the Death Eaters from day one. I'll give you the point, but I think that was a really dumb question. And You can get a brownie point. Thank, yeah, Scott, can I have a brownie point, please? <laughs> Can you cash in brownie points for actual brownies? <laughs> That's how brownie points work, right? I'm pretty sure. All right, question 11. Nope, question 10. Oh. Why don't the Death Eaters attack Harry when they first confront, confront him? Confront him in the Department of Mysteries. My whole job is to say the words right into the microphone. That is your entire job. <laughs> and I'm still not 100% sure I understand the question. Why don't the Death Eaters attack Harry when they first confront him in the Department of Mysteries? Cool. Cool. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. You're afraid he'll drop the prophecy? Yeah. I need to collect the prophecy from him. Is what I said. He is holding the prophecy. Oh, yeah. prophecy! The prophecy unveiled. You're making him lose his focus. I love those two. Shut up. Sorry. Question 11, Benjamin. Finally. Which of Voldemort's Death Eaters impersonates the order Mad-Eye Moody in Harry's fourth year? Does it say which of Voldemort's Death Eaters? It sure does. As opposed to like someone else's Death Eaters? Grindelwald's. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Also, yeah. Three, two, one. Barty Crouch Junior. Junior. Bartavius Crouch. That's right. Junior. Yeah. The, the actual best Death Eater. Question 12. Who kills Bellatrix Lestrange during the Battle of Hogwarts? Oh, oh. This scene was the first swearing exception on Bacon and Eggs. Wow. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Molly Weasley. Molly Wobbles. Yeah, it's Molly Weasley. Yeah. Oh, it's like my favorite, one of my favorite moments in the whole series. It is. I, I always loved, yeah, like those moments like with like McGonagall or Molly Weasley like, where it like, it really demonstrates like they got power, mm. you know? And it's like, oh, cool, 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 cool. That's right. What I don't understand is like, Harry's a seventh year. Shouldn't he be like more or less on their level? He's got all the same education. I mean, he beats Voldemort. He comes back from the dead. He's got all sorts of powers. I he does other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Guess reviving yourself is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Question 13. Why does Neville Longbottom react so badly to Bellatrix Lestrange? I have such bad handwriting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Three, two, one. She tortured his parents into insanity or whatever. I said she tortured his parents with a Cruciatus curse. If I, I were your teacher, I would be looking for the words Cruciatus curse. Uh, it's fine. Very I, obvious. But I am not your teacher. <laughs> Oh, you have the word You all insanity. know this stuff so much better than I do. To just lowercase the N and the I. Despite there also being other instances of those <laughs> letters in the work. Question 14. Which Death Eater removes George's ear with a Sectum Sempress spell? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Snape. 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 I didn't know this. Snape. Yeah. Snape. It's I don't like him. Snape. Well, it was, it was actually accidental. Yeah, um, sure. When you, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Didn't mean to blow your ear off. Well, so I think that like during the Battle of the Seven Potters, he's actually trying to like attack someone else, and then he like misses. Yeah, he's trying to like cut someone's hand off because they're aiming the Abada Kedavra curse at them. I think is what's happening. Yeah, bad timing for yeah. Snape to miss seems once like, ever. Seems like a whole lot of moving targets. Just like risk some sectum sempras. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't just go through it in that yeah, out there. I know. You're sort of like there's a whole crowd of people, you're basically just like throwing a sword into the mix. It's just like, oh I missed. I'm sorry. Question fifteen. Ooh, the final question. I think Jay won pretty handily. Handily? I stopped counting at about seven, so my guess is Jay won. Okay. Okay. Lay it on me. Well I don't know the score though. No, I mean... Oh, okay, yeah. Question, Question 15. When Harry leaves number four Privet Drive... Golly! Golly! Have you guys ever noticed that Ds are actually start with, like, the J sound? DR? Yeah. It's like drive. J. J. O. Drive. Drive. Yeah. Drive. Jonathan's drive. name is D-R-O-N-A-T-H-A-N. Jonathan. 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 <laughs> but like most, I, I don't know. I wonder if that's like a dialect thing. But yeah, like when I say drive, it's like J-R-I-V-E. Mm. 
Drive. Let's see, you're probably just saying, like, we're probably all saying it wrong. Like, it's, it should be like, derive. It should be drive. Yeah, drive. drive. Okay, well, we'll try again. Dudley. Okay. When Harry leaves number four, Privet Drive, for the last time, how do the Death Eaters know he is the real Harry Potter? Three, two, one. He disarms Stan Shunpike with Expelliarmus. You guys gave more detail than necessary. You never know how detailed <laughs> this quiz wants. Uh, it just, he uses Expelliarmus as the correct answer. See, um, this I is like, this is one of those missed opportunities where is. he could have stunned him and been like, Javel over four! Oh, nailed it! Oh. By the way, Protego. <laughs> exactly. You know, you don't want anything bad to happen to Stan, obviously. Yeah. Actually, that's that's basically Harry's whole MO. He's, he's obsessed <laughs> with the Stan Shunt bike. Like, you put Stan in Azkaban? <laughs> What? I will not rest. I will not sleep until Stan Chunpike is on that Knight bus. On that Knight bus. Slash Zowu. Slash Zowu. Good call. Listen. I think I lost. I think I won. Yeah. I think I even got the question I missed right. Which question is that? About the Minister the, for Magic? The, yeah, that one. Yeah. Still coming up on that? Yeah, I am. Let it go. Let yeah, it go. 16 out of 15. You all know it's true. 112%. percent be 106%. Okay. Thanks. I'm going to dock a point for that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Okay, well, how did you guys do? Be sure to let us know in the towel section down below. Yes, thank you guys, as always, for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like on if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future J versus Ben's. If you want another Super Carl and Brothers video, you can click right here. If you want to hear more of Tyler's lovely voice, you can check out his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, right here. But until next time, bye! bye.